In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this, uh, we call traditionally the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. And traditionally, there were candles, we call it Candle Mass Day, when people come to bring candles to be blessed. Uh, my bad, I forgot to announce that this weekend, past weekend, um, but tomorrow is another beautiful uh, feast as well that we may have to consider, uh, and I'll do that after, right after communion to remind you. Um, we remember in this Mass and lift up to God the soul of Norma Cochran as, as requested by Cecilia Novak. Uh, we also lift up to God uh, um, Melida, uh, the sister of our sister Alba here, okay? who passed uh, yesterday. We begin this Mass by an acknowledgement of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek. And the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Who, Who is, is the, the king, king of, of glory? glory? It, it is, is the Lord. Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals. For the king of glory may come in. 
Who is, Who is this the king, king of, of glory? glory? It, it is, is the, the Lord. Lord. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is, Who is this king, king of, of glory? glory? It, is it is the, the Lord. Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up your ancient portals, that the king of glory may come in. Who is, Who is this, this king, king of, of glory? glory? It, it is, is the Lord. Lord. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Who is, Who is this, this king, king of glory? glory? It, it is, is the Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as is written in the law of the Lord, Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. 
when they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. I have fond memories of the presentation of the Lord growing up as in a very Catholic country and very traditional and so on. There could be lighted candles or blessing of candles before or as the Mass begins and there could be processions at night and a lot of, a lot of giving thanks and glory to God for having the child Jesus presented to the temple. But as well, traditionally, I think before when I was a kid, <laughs> and um, this was the end of the Christmas season today, so we extended it a little bit, and some of us hope it will be that way, <laughs> but we have to move on. So this presentation of the Lord today, the readings especially, would give us an assurance of how Jesus, uh, the, uh, the sign of salvation that Simeon so longed for, has finally come and has come out with the help of his parents, Mary and Joseph, to show to the people and to the Jewish culture that Jesus, Mary, and Joseph were faithful, law-abiding Jewish citizens and, and worshipers. And in the presentation of Jesus to the temple, they only used uh, the simpler form of offering, or of consecrating the child, uh, turtle doves, you know, or pigeons. So um, what is more striking here and, and important for us is that Jesus himself was the most perfect and holy sacrifice to be presented in the temple, and that so meant, so that meant, it meant a lot to Simeon, to Anna, those who were prophetic people who were gifted so that they can really proclaim, prophesy the Messiah, the presence of this Messiah, that finally he has come. So you could imagine Simeon beholding the child, lifting up the baby or the child, and I'm sure Jesus was already, you know, 12 or 10 years old and still was able to lift him and, and praising God with all his might. Now, Lord, you can let me go in peace. What a beautiful sight to behold for someone to just have his or her dreams fulfilled before God, before the presence of God, and to finally give thanks to God, you know, for that, for having fulfilled all that they are expecting. And now, in the presence of the Savior, the Messiah, for Simeon, life has completed itself. Today in the Feast of the Presentation, this Feast of the Presentation, we recall our own consecrations, our own presentations at baptism to the Lord. We were babies, most of us were, and our parents took on the responsibility of bringing us up in the practice of the faith. And it is our duty now to look into the depth of of that mystery and the sacramental meaning of baptism that as we ritualize and worship our union with Christ and present ourselves to the Lord with all that we have, the gifts that we have, we will also experience that inner transformation and inner purification of the fact that we are made for the Lord, of the fact that we are made for ministry, that we are to share and give all that we have and all that we are back to God in a holy and a devout manner and in a loving form of service and, as I said, ministry to the church and to the world. Amen. As God's children, let us bring our prayers to Him this day with great confidence in His love for us. 
For Pope Francis and all pastoral leaders, may the Lord guide and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civic leaders, may God move their hearts in working to pro protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick, may God's saving power offer profound healing and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here and for all those we love, may God's mercy upon, be upon all of us this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they, through the mercy of God, soon experience eternal joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For any special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for sending your Son who took on our nature to conquer sin and death. We ask that you hear the prayers we offer in his name today, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creations, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Be By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask to accept us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble, contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquities, Lord. Cleanse me from my sin. And so pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our praise of the Holy Church. May the offering made with exultation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you willed that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world, as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation, and with the angels and saints praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Norma Cochran and Melida Guerra de la Calle, and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Faustina, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ, peace of Christ. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, 
Gritolis pecata mundi Dona nobis pace Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my son shall be But not Christ can say. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So a reminder, tomorrow the Feast of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr. And if you, uh, for the blessing of the throat, we will just do a kind of a generic blessing, general blessing with the candle lifted up to all the congregation, okay? And that will be a little quicker. The Lord be with you. And, with you. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our life. Thanks be to God. O sacrament most holy. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you, Father.